Hi everyone, welcome to Wooded Farm Holiday Park in the outskirts of Butte and I'm going to show you around the park right now. Wooda Farm Holiday Park is brilliantly situated just two miles from Bude. We walked into Bude on one of the days we were there, although care is needed as the first part there are no footpaths. We are walking, there's lots of cars and no paths. So we are stopping and starting. The drive-in can have some narrow roads, so take care. Although when you reach the entrance of the site there shouldn't be any problem. Apart from this narrow bit here where you just have to take a little care. Now let's take a site tour. The site is quite large, so we are gonna take it in the camper van starting from the reception area. This is the side of the park we were on. Although very exposed to the elements and having to deal with 40 mile an hour winds on our last night here. Just on the right here, you can see the roof of the amenities block and our pitch E56 was down the next turning on the right. So really close to the showers and toilets. Heading out of this side of the park, we are going to go to the other side, which has touring pitches as well as static caravans. And that ends our quick site tour. Now let's have a look at the facilities. In terms of pitch types, they have hard standing that we usually go for. They also have plenty of grass pitches. Up on another one of the fields are these select pitches that come with their own private bathroom for a cost of course. And as well as the static caravans in the other field there are also these log style holiday homes. The shower block on our side of the holiday park is situated quite near our pitch, pitch E56. Inside there are quite a few cubicles and the facility is regularly cleaned including one deep clean every day. The showers themselves are push button which I do not like and there is only one peg which makes it awkward if you want to hang anything up. The first shower I had was nice and hot but the second one was not so but perhaps I was just unlucky. Let's just have one more quick look around. Okay, let's move on to some of the other facilities. The dishwashing area is undercover, but it is outside, so it isn't the warmest washing up area we have been to. However, the hot water is good and they have plugs and drainers included. There is also a large laundrette with washers, dryers and an ironing board. but also a large freezer should you need to store anything or just refreeze your ice packs.
the motorhome service point is a large area although you may need to back in or out or turn around if you want to use it it has all the usual facilities plus a chemical waste point so you can empty your toilet this is also where you find the main rubbish area at least for this side of the park and there is another chemical waste area here in the amenities block So away from the pictures, perhaps a four or five minute walk is the games room and bar area. The games room consists of table tennis and pool, which at the time was one pound per game for the pool. Max enjoyed this area and in fact he spent a lot of time here with some friends that he met playing pool in the evenings while we were in the bar. And this area was shared with the bar restaurant area. Good beer, decent food, although be warned when booking. We did book so we could listen to the music one night, but were told they were full on arrival and we are moved to another room, meaning we would have missed the reason we booked for, which was the music. Luckily, a couple gave up their table so we could sit out of sight, but in earshot of the live music. There's also another bar, the Loft Cocktail Bar, but this didn't open until May, so we can't see inside, I'm afraid. Just another sneak peek through the window. And across here we have a sports area or a sports center, and all we can see, I'm afraid, is the badminton court. There is a small play park near the bar area and games room, but there is also a much larger play area near the pictures where we were staying. And there is a rather hilly pitch and putt area if you're a golf fan. And thankfully, a much flatter tennis court. So what's nearby there is of course Bude with its beach which appears popular with the surfers. And there is also Bude Sea Pool if you are brave enough, which we weren't this time of year. And of course there's the High Street with its gift shops and wine bars. Around 30 minutes north of Bude is the unique village of Clovelly. Yes, you have to pay to visit, but for the £9 or so for an adult, it's well worth visiting this unique town. And 30 minutes south into Cornwall is Boscastle, a natural harbour and village with a couple of great walks, views and photo opportunities. This was probably my favourite place we visited on this trip and I would love to go back. We popped into the Bridge House for lunch where Suzanne enjoyed a delicious crab sandwich. And there are more videos coming up on these unique places over the next couple of weeks on the channel, so be sure to subscribe. The two yeah. things that I, I mean the winds you can't control, obviously, no. it's really, really windy. Um, but that's a reason you have to be careful, very careful. 
Yeah. Um, the other thing, the showers were quite old, push button, which I don't like. No. Up for taps, and also one peg, which made having a shower a bit of a juggling act. But they were very clean, though. Oh, the, no, 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 I'm not saying they Spotless. weren't clean. Spotless. They, they weren't clean. They cleaned them regularly throughout oh, the day. Oh, regularly. Non-stop. Big cleaner, 12 o'clock, or whatever. Yeah, it was, yeah. And in between. In between, they're always in the clean. That's that's no problems with that. It was just the facilities themselves in terms of the hand dryers were absolutely pathetic. The hand dryers. Ooh. The hand dryers were um, pathetic. Yeah, like a cat's burp. Um, and they took ages and they ran out anyway. Um, and also the shower, like I say, push buttons. And the second time I had a shower, it didn't stay hot for very long. Yeah, mine wasn't today, but the last three days I've been in the same shower and they were really hot. Tuesday, Wednesday, one, Thursday. Just this one day I chose a different shower and it was not as hot. Um, th there's also plugs in the ladies. Um, sorry, I've got to get back so much you can see. Um, there's plugs in the ladies' uh, bathrooms um, and there's like vanity areas. So they provide ha hair dryers as well, but you can take your own hair dryer and there's a plug socket by the mirror and all the mirrors are lit up as well. Um, lots of mirrors. So yeah, if you don't want to use campsite hair dryers and wanted to take your own hair dryers or hair straighteners, you've got that option. Bar was alright when that had good live music. Yeah, good music. Bit of a walk from the main pictures, you know, sort of a five minute walk to the bar in the game room. But yeah, it was alright. Busy, wasn't it? Yeah, you, that, have to book you have to book ahead. Book, yeah. yeah. I just think that if there's if it comes this hair again, I'd like to try something else out. Yeah. Which is quite common for us. I think we do that a lot. Yeah. So that's it, our four days there or four nights there have spent. There's lots of wet and windy. Wet and windy. There's lots of videos. Um, out there that you may or may not have seen yet, but that's it. God, he's on the wrong From Wooder Farm, we will see you next time. I think I'm going the right way. <laughs> Hopefully, yeah. yeah. Right, cool. Everyone, bye everyone. See you later. Bye. bye. And yes, all those videos are coming up, so don't forget to subscribe to the channel to see our trip around Bude, Boscastle, Clavelli, and lots of other places we visited. See you next time.